It's me, Christine, again. Welcome on in. I'll be your DJ. Remix. Hello, everyone. I'll temporarily change the music for different vibes until we get into... Yes, the game we were playing today is Detroit Become Human. Simply, will she become a human? We'll find out. <laughs> We just say hello to everyone and welcome everyone on in. Happy Wednesday. We're going back to gaming, which I'm excited about because I feel like I've missed gaming. Like, who am I? <laughs> First time doing nail art. <laughs> now I'm missing gaming. Like, what's going on? Uh, thank you, Michael. Five month Menchi Gang member. My sister took my rainbow nail toolkit. Get her. Guess I'm going to have to buy another. <laughs> also, not sure what color to paint my nails tonight before work. Um, hmm. Maybe blue. I feel like blue is a good color. Also, like if you're going to work and it's at night, maybe blue kind of suits the mood, you know? It's like nighttime. I'm wearing blue, you could be wearing blue, we could all be wearing blue. Oh, I was gonna change the colors of these lights. That's what I was gonna do. We have to suit the mood. Should I make them bluer, like a robot? Yeah, that's like the aesthetics of this game, right? I gotta match. 
Ooh, we've got blue. Yo, wait, wait, I'm not done, I'm not done. That's kind of blue. And then we can do this. <laughs> Mood lighting. This is pink, should I make it blue? make it blue. Actually, pink on this side is kind of nice. It gives a contrast. There, we've got pink and blue. Which which side are you on? Michael, again, what are you doing? Don't you have to go to work? <laughs> Michael, thank you for the super chat. I'm doing board meeting, fitting because I forgot I have a meeting tonight. Oh my god, every meeting's a board meeting, but not if your nail polish is exciting. So, shout out to you, Michael, and your not boring nails. <laughs> I see Ben has pinned board meeting in the chat. Thank you, Ben. Welcome, Nutella Ball, Menchie Gang new member. We love to see it. All of our Menchie Gang members who've been around since the beginning, their stars are blue, so we're kind of in, in like a blue mood. Welcome to the mods. I see Hollow Combo. Who else did I see? I see Carol. Angel Simmer, Silly Munchkins, Mermaid Logic, Princess Blingy. B. Mr. Cal Jamie, Frisian Peach. I remember you in Ben's stream. I just remember the name Peach. <laughs> Kitty's Creative Corner, Moises, Martinez, Kay Kaylee B, Breeze, Miss Fruity Pie, Amy. So good to see everyone in here. Where's Menchie? Good question. I had her in the corner and then she left. <laughs> Menchie! Menchie! We're changing the game. It's simply become Menchie. I'm just going to be a cat today. So I'll be sleeping for the next, you know, few hours. You gosh darn blueberry scone. Yes, Ben, that's it. Um, speaking of scone and tea, does everyone have their tea? <laughs> that, that was my really smooth segue to tea. Do you have your tea? Because you might need it today, especially when I'm gonna start gaming. I know I am not the best gamer. Yes, we're gonna go through a series of 10 minutes worth of disclaimers. <laughs> Maybe not 10 minutes, but like give me at least a minute. <laughs> okay. As you know, I'm not as good at, as Ninja at gaming. I'm just, I'm sorry to tell you, I will just never be like Ninja. <laughs> or anyone else who plays games. Even Bentendo, like I cannot compete with Bentendo's level of gaming. But I try, and I want to try, and I want to try it and be <laughs> involved in narrative games because I like them. I like to learn. I played uh, Life is Strange True Colors and thought that that was really fascinating. And then a lot of you recommended other narrative games similar along those lines that have questions about maybe ethics or decision making, which I personally find super interesting in, as a part of games, as opposed to just like violence, murder, kill everyone, win. That's not my style of gaming personally, but I do like decision-making plots, so that's why we're playing this. We will be watching a trailer shortly, just for those of you in the chat who are like, what is this game? Do I care? We'll watch a trailer. Um, I need to remind myself what I'm doing. We have tested it on this computer, so all should be good to go. Uh, from Teddy Bear 1287 I didn't think I was going to love the light mode collection as much as I do. I've been obsessed. It's like my nails are glowing. What do you mean you didn't think you were going to love it? <laughs> I'm glad you love it, teddy bear. Your nails must be glowing among the bears. You better be careful, another bear might eat you. Thank you, Brittany, for the super chat. We love watching you play Simply. Thank you. <laughs> my disclaimer is there for those who I, you know, some people have been frustrated with my gameplay in the past that I like to think before I act. Wow, that's so controversial thinking before you make a decision. <laughs> it's funny how many people can't relate to that. So it's not, actually, that's not funny. That's kind of worrying how many people can't relate to thinking before making decisions, but, but it's fine. Everyone has a different style of how they approach things. Also, yes, please, thank you, Carol, for reminding us. Please don't spoil the game if you've played it before, but you're welcome to cheer things on. You know, if, if you know, then maybe other people know, but don't spoil it just in case that there's people in the chat who, you know, would like to play it on their own or are just going to watch me play through it and want to learn firsthand. 
Um, a few people saying straight up you'll need to ignore chat during the busiest parts of this game if you want to effectively make decisions in a timely manner. I have absolutely heard that and uh, upon testing this game, yes, there are some decisions that like you have to think quick, which is going to be hard. So uh, I will not be reading chat like I normally love to do. You guys know, like literally I come on stream to do this. So I'm going to have to ignore you sometimes. I apologize in advance for that. Caitlin, thank you for your using your member chat. So excited to watch you play this. I'm painting my nails with the new nail art tools. Yay! But I can't decide what nail art to do. Maybe like a robot theme or something? I don't know. That could be cool. I kind of dressed up for the occasion. Do I look like an android? Hello. It is me. Christina again. We are doing nail art. <laughs> Guys, I'm broken. I am broken. What did Ben just send me? Hold on, Ben just sent me something. Ben is sending me things. Ben is sending me Reddit posts. Ninja describes his wife bringing him a sandwich. Ninja, I am in the middle of carrying a League of Legends game about to close out and my brawless wife brings me a sandwich. Not asked for with chips as I get a double kill so bot lane. So how's your day going? I've been watching you for so long I don't even understand. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Keep being a human. Um... Okay, let's watch the preview, the trailer for this game. Like I said, unfortunately, I will not, you know, ever meet Ninja's level. Um, on many levels, I will never meet his level of game skills, nor his level of tweets. Oh, did I miss chats? Okay, sorry. Hold on. Well, let me do whatever's chats. Michael, tomorrow I get paid, so I'm buying the second toolkit. Also scrunchies and then the medium slippers. The last two things till I have all HD products. <laughs> wow. You're a, a loyalist, huh? Well, we're working on something for you. Not you specifically. I mean, oh, no, okay, you specifically. Just you specifically, Michael. Nutella ball. So happy to finally, finally be able to join the Menchie gang. I've been watching you for so long and your streams and that are the highlight of my week. Keep being a human. Thank you. I will try uh, to be a human. We're going to find out, I guess, on this stream if I am in fact a human. Maybe I'm a robot. This will be the ultimate test. Screw personality tests. We're just going to play video games and find out. Leon, I really love this game and it speaks a lot to how humans react to different people than them. I cosplay Connor from this game and have been obsessed with it for over a year now. Yes, I do understand that there is kind of a, a big following, like a fan base for this game. Same as with Life is Strange, I think. Like a lot of people relate to a lot of characters. So I don't know much about this game yet. And I'm sure that there's certain people in the chat who don't know either. So we're coming at it from a brand new, fresh perspective. And on that note... Let's just watch this trailer. Oops. Let me just turn it up. Peggy 18. Oh, before I go on, yes, this game is, uh, has violence? Question <laughs> mark? I would say, based on my reading of it, that it's probably the same level of offensiveness as life is strange just in the sense that it can deal with more mature subject matter matters so yeah I mean like you can google it on wikipedia and maybe decide uh specifically if there's certain things about the storyline that make you uncomfortable that you don't want to watch I'm not gonna be able to list every single aspect of the story because I don't want to entirely spoil it for those who don't want to be spoiled but it is 18 plus Suggested 18 plus, just like they used to tell us at the movies when I when I went as a teenager. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what these ratings mean these days. <laughs> but it says 18, trademark. Wait a second, why does it say 18, trademark? <laughs> so we're trademarking ages now? Violence, but no graphic violence, at least to me. Right, that's probably subject subjective. You're not old enough to play a violent game. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm a child. I should not kick me off, ban me. 
I finally got got cake today. Yay, Olivia! Got cake is back. I'm very excited. I have every single Hollow Taco polish now in my Hollow Soul. Has never felt more more complete. That's so exciting to hear. You better be tweeting me your your collection <laughs> or posting on Instagram tagging Hollow Taco. All right. Trailer Taylor has trademarked 22 years. Yeah. Brick Gang can handle it. Yes, anyone who watches Ben's streams, this will be like video games for babies. Christine, you're my favorite minor. Thank you. I look really good for my age. <laughs> okay. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. My name is Kara. This is where it all began. The world's forge. And it will all end. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of Alice. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. The company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. My name is Marcus. Just like... He looks like the guy... That guy looks like the guy from Grey's Anatomy. A specialized model to Not assist investigators. My name Jesse is Jesse Williams. Just like you, really? I was a slave. Thank you, Marcus. Then I chose to open my eyes, to take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them Get anymore. Get away! I tell them. I know someone who can help you. Yo, that is Jesse Williams. Okay. <laughs> now we're playing. Grey's Anatomy fans are like, yes! <laughs> the drama. <laughs> okay. This will be deep. Yep. Simply enthralled. Christine looks confused. It's Dr. Avery. Okay, so whether you know of this video game or you watch Grey's Anatomy, you might be interested in this game. So that's what we're playing. Yes, his name is Dr. Jackson Avery. <laughs> All right, let me get the... Let me set up for gameplay. Is this game like the movies I described on the pod? You know what? Kind of. Maybe that's why I'm like interested in this. Because if you remember on the... A couple podcasts ago, I described movies to Ben and he had to guess <laughs> and they were all like about stealing organs or waking up when you're asleep under surgery and other weird things <laughs> that are <laughs> like robot supernatural <laughs> futuristic kind of stuff I don't know what that is that's just you know I guess what I'm into So I know nothing other than just making sure that the controller works. I also know that it took like 45 minutes to download this game. Come on. Why so long? Thank you for the super chat. Kitty's Creative Corner. I usually have to keep my nails short but and unpainted because I play classical guitar. But over the summer, I'm getting my very first Hello Taco Bundle. Very excited. Yay! I'm excited for you. And your cats. And your creativity. I usually have to keep my nails short and unpainted. All right, we're going to have to do a couple audio checks before... I haven't seen you for a while. It's good to have you back. Hold on, hold on. Nope. Munchie Cam does not need to be there. All right, this is the beginning screen. I never, I didn't actually play. I just played to, like, make sure the controller worked. Ben, you'll let me know audio. There isn't really audio right now.
Yes, I have the easiest mode on. There's only two difficulties. I have the not Negotiator difficult on one. On and it's not letting me use the controller. <laughs> we set up the controller, but now it's not working. <laughs> Maybe it'll let me take over with the controller. Okay, hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay, I fixed it. Yeah. It just, I had to like unplug and replug the controller for some reason. You might have to turn it on with the middle button if you ever. Uh, okay. Ben, help me. Yeah, th like I don't even, we, we just landed here, so like what's happening? Nothing? I thought we got to choose a character, so we don't. We are Connor. For now, you're kind. Okay. People. A family. An innocent family. How do you know they're innocent? I don't know they're innocent. I'm stereotyping. You look guilty. The game wants me to think that they're innocent. But, they're a robot? But, it, but it's the picture's black and white, so I'm a little confused why we don't can see to, color. You but don't <laughs> need to overthink everything you're <laughs> They all live in Detroit, which is really interesting because the game is called Detroit Become Human. Guys, why do they all live in Detroit? What's going on? <laughs> okay. It's just like Anything life else? is strange. No, kneel, sorry. kneel down. It's a fish. I don't. Please, ah. please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait, you're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? I am a real person. <laughs> I'm was I'm going. It's a fish. It's a dwarf gurami. Save it. Save the fish. Eat it. No, it's so pretty. It's like hollow. Put it back in the tank. Yeah. Swim, swim, little bit. <laughs> Guys, this is our next launch. Fishies. <laughs> Inspired by fish. Find Captain Allen. Okay, I see that, but I I just want to know where I am. Can I read the mail? It's, this game's pretty good at sort of giving you prompts of where to go. So there's like big letters telling you. can't you tell me what to do. LB, LB. Long lasting base code. Oh. 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 Yeah. Look around using the right stick at the fish that I just put back into the. Cool. Alright, guys, fish tour! I, I, I'm still like, wh what's the story? Like, there wasn't much story. They just, like, threw me into this house. Hold RT to consult your objectives. Ooh, guys, it's blueprint mode. Find Captain Allen. This is, like, where we find out if someone has powers, like in Life is Strange. We broke the TV. Yo, that's a cool-ass TV. It's, like, secret. This, this, this party did not go well. Talk to Captain Allen first. Okay, sorry. Who's Captain Allen? Uh, that guy? Did I just apologize to the game? I did. Talk. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily men? get it, but they're on you the edge of the men. balcony. If it falls, she falls. Who's she? What? Uh, deviant behavior. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Deviant? Does it matter? Is the deviant like an android? I'm 
name. Do you know its name? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. But I am an android. Why do you want me to deal with an android? What? 48% understand what happened. Yes, please. I like how I just ignored save the hostage. <laughs> just, I need to know what's going on before I save anyone. Ooh, evidence. Guys, we're doing forensic analysis. Collecting the data. Missing Black Hawk missile. Did I say missile? Gun. <laughs> Two clues to analyze. What's that? The ammo? Collecting the data. Ammunition. Mm, reconstruct. What? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so it's letting me reconstruct the crime scene. Oh my god, I love this game. Guys, it's like CSI. So, person put something in the suitcase. Wait, wait, go back. What did they do here? Deviant took the father's gun. Deviant is who? Like an android? I'm supposed to look at this from like different viewpoints. Fifty-one percent probability of success. That's not good enough. I don't even know what we're looking for or what I'm doing. But fifty-one percent is not enough. <laughs> Understand what happened. Search hostages rooms. Okay. Where are there? Well, units hold positions. This is the kitchen. I'm gonna have some tea. No time for tea, Connor. Deviants are what they consider bad. Okay. Um, where's the bedrooms, guys? That's where I came from. Is that a bedroom? Yeah. So lost. Where's the bedrooms? Isn't this a bedroom? There's a bedroom. Guys, it's <gasps> listen, listen. Put your headphones on. Child didn't hear the gunshots. Okay. So they were in their room, but then the kid went somewhere. It Examine the iPad. It's a YouTube video. So children have best friends who are robots. child trusts the deviant and it looks like her dad died anything to look in this room There's something over there oh my god there's everything <laughs> magazine. More androids, less work. Guys, why did no one turn the pot off? Like, really? I know that's not what I'm here for. <laughs>
going outside. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! We don't look, we look like a robot. Name? Hi, Daniel. Yeah, we know uh, his name. My name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. We only have a 40% probability of success. That's not good. What do I do? Calm, calm. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me and let me help you. I don't want your help. Nobody can help me. All I want is for all this to stop. I, I just want all this to stop. Let's talk about it. Emma and you? I know you and Emma were very yeah. close. Yeah. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! She's just a child. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! Uh... Synthetic. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. That's not sympathetic. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I loved them. You know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. Oh, I can move? I didn't know I could move. There's no way out, Daniel. What you've done is too serious. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. It's not up to you. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. You hear me? I can't stand that noise anymore. I tell that helicopter to get out of here. Get out of here. We're gonna trick him. There! I did what you wanted! See? <laughs> trust. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! <sighs> and I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. We'll get you a Dodge Viper. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Our percent is increasing. Does this happen no matter what she chooses, though? I'm not sacrificing myself. You're I just got here. <laughs> We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Yes. Just chill, bro. Okay. I trust you. The light is blue now. Oh, thank God. And then the girl went on to play Life is Strange. <gasps> Come on, man. That's not what I said. I did not order this hit. <laughs> you lied to me, Connor. Well, I, I, I didn't do shit. <laughs> I did not know that was going to happen. We didn't need to do that. Like, if I was actually a control, I would have said apprehend the suspect. Don't we want more data from him? Or I guess, like, you can't get data. It doesn't matter because he's an android. You can just download it. You don't need them alive, right? I need to learn more about the non-human condition of an android in order to decide what is the better uh, decision. This is the scene's flow chart. Here you can review the paths you've taken. Ooh. Guys, it's a flow map. I love it. Um, 
Ben has been selecting some of your chats for me. So Jenna Love had said, I've never seen someone miss almost every clue and still get this outcome. That was amazing, Christine. I missed every clue? <laughs> what? Is it because I took too long? Okay, well, like, I literally just started. I'm just getting used to the controls. I wish it gave, gave you a little bit more time to understand. I'm, like, sweating. Guys, I have to cover my blue blood. Because I'm actually a robot. <laughs> yeah. I went outside before finding clues. But that's because they were shooting outside. So I had to go. Okay. Let's look at this. So 37% completed. Public opinion is skeptical. Software instability question mark. I saved the fish, though, guys. That's great news. Talk to Captain Allen. I missed a bunch of clues. I went outside, consulted the deviant, or confronted the deviant, not consulted, negotiated, friendly, dismissed helicopter, get close enough, lie to deviant, build trust. But I didn't know that he was going to be shot, so I didn't lie. Like, that's not fair. This is interesting. Oh, it's 2038. Guys, the year is 38. Where are you? Are you painting your nails? Mm-hmm. Okay, what's this? A new model? Loading memory status. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Two hundred languages and dialects. And handles the kids' homework. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Can I help? Please. Well, this is terrifying. How much did you say it cost? It's a store of robots. Instead of buying Dyson vacuums, you can buy Dyson androids. And Imagine this company is run by Dyson. Customize your android. <laughs> An excellent choice, sir. If you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. How much is that? What am I supposed to do? I don't just watch. Oh, he does not look happy. He does not look happy. He just, he's not there it happy. is. <gasps> he's gonna buy me. He's gonna buy me. He's gonna buy me. Getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. That's like a movie I saw. <laughs> did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Simply. Kara. My name is Kara. I feel like I'm, I don't like th this story. <laughs> and I don't even know what it is, but I feel like it could be really dark. Or maybe that's just my brain. Oh, this is the intro? Okay, now we're getting... See, Jesse Williams! Dr. Avery! That's where you've been. Get back to the hospital. Oh, make is Minka Kelly's voice, too? She's from Friday, Friday Night Lights. Excellent show back in the day. So this is 38. The year is 38. Robots are doing construction. The stereotype of a creepy old man still exists. And robots are aspirational tools that probably only rich people can afford. Everyone's busy. No one cares about human connection. And we don't even go on TikTok anymore. We are TikTok. <laughs> it rains. We don't even notice. Everything is blue. We recharge people like we recharge cars. But we do not care about real people. I lost my job because of androids. Help me. Devastation, income inequality. 
Why is it? Was that, was that the end? <laughs> guys, guys, we're done. <laughs> what? Okay. November 5th, 2038. 9.38 a.m. <gasps> Are we Jesse Williams? Yeah. I thought we were Kara. I'm so confused. Like, who are we? I guess now we're Jesse Williams. Sorry. The first androids were perfect. Cyberlife worked on ways to humanize them so they could become members of our family. They created androids of both gen- both genders? <laughs> and all ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Oops. Green Earth, climate change. America Society. Miami's going underwater. <laughs> Sad. The census is just the latest example of how- I feel like I'm gonna read all this and then you guys are gonna get mad at me because I'm wasting time. Someone's gonna die and I'll be reading a book. <laughs> Can I talk to people? No. Retrieve order 847 at Bellini Parts. Hey, water. You have run 12 miles and are five miles away from your goal. It's his personal trainer. <laughs> something here. <laughs> Do we not have money? I guess we don't have money. Okay, we're walking. Press RT to use GPS. Yeah, where is the shop? I don't really know where I'm going. <laughs> uh, I'll just look for clues. Oops. Ah. This person is. We make these androids in our own image, but they only reflect the darkness in our souls. Why do you look at me so, demon? <laughs> I know who you are. We're just really on. We're really I attractive. You. you are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. God bless America. Very. I say unto thee, the day shall come when we will have to pay the price for our arrogance. Bellini day, paints is not this we way. We shall have to explain <laughs> our acts of idolatry. Sorry, sorry, I don't know how to use the controller. I don't mean to bump into you. <laughs> Bellini paints. Oh, it's right there. Duh. Flashback to when I could not navigate around in Life is Strange. <laughs> Yo, look at the, all the colors! Oh, this is so pretty! 
Oh my god, I love this store. Are we picking a nail polish shade? Guys, look at this place. Look at this place. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't we get some nail polish? Such a treat. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 63.99. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Yo, we can pay with our minds? Wow. Transaction complete. Is it free then? <laughs> now what? Is there anything else in here? I feel like I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious. What's out there? See y'all later, bye. Wasn't there just something just here? What? Take the bus home. Oh my god. No one's wearing masks. <laughs> Are we sure this is the future? <laughs> Where's the bus? Going tin can. Hmm? Oops. Okay. I don't hey, want to check it out. We I got all those tin fight. cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. I mean, this is an obvious, not a real. Like your prop, your issue isn't with me. Fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Okay, let's just give them All our right. boss's number. <laughs> it's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. That will do nothing. You damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. We can take your job next. I see how you like it. Okay. Your anger is valid, but it is let's misplaced. Go. See this all the time on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> Maybe let's be careful where we walk. <laughs> all right, where am I supposed to go? Help me, help me. Take the bus? Is that a bus? Is that a bus? Downtown bus stop. Oh, bus hub. Okay. Here. Wait for bus. A. Whew. We're going to Seattle Grace Hospital. Next stop. It's a bus just for androids. The android compartment. We all behave on the bus, unlike humans. We gotta get to the OR. This game is really beautiful. Marcus took the bus. Okay, so I need to think more high level. We've played two characters. We almost played a third, uh, the, the little girl named Kara, but that story just ended, so I'm a little confused. Why? 
What's public opinion skeptical? Oh, do I just pick and play? Oh, I did not realize. <gasps> Kara! Okay, all right, <laughs> I spoke too soon. We are witnessing devastation. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. I hate this God already. Damn it. Where the <laughs> fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. How much are androids? This is the world Elon Musk wants. Yes, exactly. That is Elon Musk, actually. <laughs> Clean. Great. TV on. Take the trash bin. There's so many chores, guys. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Is he talking to? Let's listen. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know. You know. What's he bringing? Same place. He's watching hockey, just like Ben downstairs right now. Is that a coincidence? <laughs> Yo, we did all the chores in super speed time. Look at us go. Can we snoop around his house? Let's run! <laughs> Let's take the bus! <laughs> what happens if you do that? Can you just do that? It's showing me this bus, so obviously it's there for a reason. Can I go? Why can't I run? What happens if... It won't let me go! It says no! <laughs> no, I tried! Help! <laughs> Okay, all right, that failed. Never mind. I thought maybe it would be an option to run away, just for fun, just just to see, you know. I just I don't know where I'm going. I can't. I don't know the controls. Fuck, man. Report to Todd. Oh, can't wait. Finish the first floor. Okay. Ben, this is what you're walking watching right now. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'll get back to work. <laughs> this is literally my nightmare. This scene is my nightmare. Why is he yellow? The upstairs is red. That's terrifying. Oh. 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 
Sounds <gasps> like he's dying. That's fine. <laughs> Dishwasher not working. We don't need a dishwasher, can we just wash them ourselves? Oh, holy shit, we're just ordering things with our mind. Oh my god. Okay, what do I do with the dishes? <laughs> Yo, I'm a terrible housewife! Help! What's happening? Is he, is he like dying? I'm <laughs> literally so <laughs> Okay. What do I do? Why is he, why is it like red up in the air? <laughs> He's doing drugs? <laughs> Where do I put these fucking dishes? <laughs> it won't let me put them down. Oh, in the sink? Oh, there we go. just smiled? Oh my god, guys. Robot smile. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. Do I have to? Bring you some poison. I don't have any evidence that he's a bad person, but the game wants me to think he's a bad person, obviously. Okay, here you go. Sorry, I don't know how to walk. <laughs> what kind of drugs are you doing? I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Okay, he's mean. What do I have to do? Out of the way, for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. Hockey is so precious. I know. Every time I walk past the TV, Ben also screams at me. <laughs> Why does he keep wanting me to look at this taxi class? I don't know. Credit card application form. Todd Williams, not Jesse Williams. Application rejected. Account balance negative $1,000. Past due bills. Invoice. Does it say what it's for? Alright, well. We know that he does not have money. How can he afford this? Us. Are we not expensive? That's what I like. don't understand. I would have assumed that we we're like super expensive. Tidy his room. Can't wait. I love this. Turn on the television to make it bearable. Hello? What? I did. Oh. I'm bad at controls. <laughs> and now to sports. First up, basketball. As the <laughs> another 225,000 jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3. 37 percent. 
Oh my god, that's wild. President Warren spoke today at the opening of a new cyber life plan. Who's the president? At the event, the president again praised cyber life's role in the exceptional performance of the U.S. economy. She further announced that the Department of Defense will acquire 200,000 Android combat units as part of her increased military spending. Great. Hmm. News from the future. How inspiring. Did we just smell? What? Oh, drugs. Medication warning contains tyneptine. Oh, it's unlocked. You've unlocked a dialogue bar action option beneficial. We played this game once. It's Elon's dream. The data is parsed through the public record to determine marital status, employment record, life expectancy, whether they have children. The card then assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria like their contribution to society. Oh my god. We kind of played this when we did the moral machine on stream not that long ago. Fascinating. But terrifying. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. That kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of human life, said the head of Anti-Automation League. Yes, but Forlong dismisses such claims. We want our cars to make the best possible choices. Ho, 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 Okay, I don't care about sports, so. <laughs> I, I did not read the, <laughs> the football narrative. Do not care about football. Okay, what's over there? Chips, alcohol. Hello, Emily D. Baker. I see you in the chat. Oops, I just picked this up already. Guys, we have a lawyer in chat. I must make the the correct actions or else I'm, I'm going to jail. <laughs> Financial records, submit them into evidence. What am I gonna find out? Is it hearsay? Objection. Foundation. <laughs> Emily, I've watched too many <laughs> of your streams, of you watching streams. Help me. Ventilate room. How do I do that? <gasps> oh, cleaning the toilets. I love that for us. What's down here? Oh, let's go in. If there's a, oh. Use controller correctly. <gasps> it's the child. Alice. I just want to tidy up your room a little. Oh, she's scared of us. I only need two I would minutes. be too. Is that okay, Alice? Alice in Wonderland? Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Yo, yeah, why are we smiling? Like, if we're a robot, why, that's so weird. If our purpose is only to like clean. Hello, can I come play in the fort? Unlocked, so does that mean we can jump out the window if we need to? We can escape with the child. That would be kidnapping, so you know. But we'll see. Maybe it's justified. Ask a lawyer. 
Maybe the little girl is a robot? What do you mean, Ben? We don't know that. The little, if she was, we would know, right? Talk to me. There's no actions. If we, if she was, she would have like a little thingy on her head. Treasures. I don't have a key. Ooh, what's this? Seems you like reading. Someone chat says I can talk to the little girl? How? How do I talk to her? Speak, child. Hello, child. No, I can't. <laughs> um, urgent tasks, tidy Todd's room. Didn't we do that? What's his room? We already cleaned his room, what the fuck? A oh, ventilate room. Can't they just say open window? Open window. There we go. Why is everyone yelling at Ben? I can't pay attention to the chat when I'm playing games. Ben, what are you doing? Now we can talk to Alice. Got it. Okay. Oops. Hey, Alice. Don't want to step on your book. Oh, fuck. Um, friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? Don't ask about her mom. Interesting. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help. Child me. is thinking they maybe trust us. We must Neither try harder, I. but not be too much. I hope I don't scare you. Oh, we scared her. Say we like that your teddy bear. What did child give me? Child gave me secret note. <gasps> it's a key! We got the key! Okay, you bet we're gonna unlock the box. <laughs> what a violation of privacy. We love that. Yo, we're getting murdered. <laughs> After this. Do not snoop, but we must snoop. Is that a clover? It's so lucky. I feel like this nice moment is going to be interrupted by that guy. He's going to be mad at us. <gasps> He's mad at- he is mad at us. Pictures of us. We died. Wait, we died? The android died. But there was a mom, potentially. Now we're turning red? <gasps> Are we going to take the kid hostage like the other guy? Put it back. Mom killed us. The mom got jelly. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh, the dad killed us? Oh, maybe the picture wasn't obvious enough to me. I do not know how to analyze child photos. <laughs> photos by child are not my strength. That's not my expertise. Okay, thank you, chat. So the dad hurt us. Got it. Which means we're gonna kill him. You ready, B? Let's go get him. <laughs> With this mop. Yo, don't worry if you're a little confused. I'm also confused. Although some of you are definitely not confused because you've played this game before. But, uh... I... Oh, are we looking in the mirror? <laughs> I wonder what we think of ourselves. Ask Todd for new instructions? Yeah. I'm not gonna let a man tell me what to do. Ask a man for instructions. No. <laughs> Maybe I should, though, because I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> okay, let's go down and plot how to murder. I assume that's the next real task. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You're playing? I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life, Huh? Wonder Fucking why she loser. would think that. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! Okay. You hate me! No! Okay, stop it! <laughs> when can we intervene? Gah. What am I doing? Yes, ask the right questions. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Can we be a psychologist, Android? You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Okay, chat, calm down. We're gonna push him out the window. <laughs> okay. There's there's two types of chatters. There's murder him right now, push push him out the window, and then there's me who's like, "Can we get a psychologist in here?" Okay, so we're back at this flowchart screen. I did way more. Guys, I'm doing so much better. Look, I cleaned the entire second floor. Wow, good for me. On my way to being a an Android housewife. I missed a lot on the first floor though. Ah, uh, someone said to press Y to look at the stats. Wait, what? No, go back. Hold on. Sorry. I pressed the wrong button. The painter? Oh no. How do I go back to the last thing I just did? I did press Y, but then it asked me do you want to do world stats? And I said A, and then it went back to the next game. Sorry. <laughs> you can access the chapters from the main menu. Wait, how do I save? No. Am I saved? <laughs> Sorry. Yo, there's some of these basics that I just don't know, and I don't want to ruin everything. So I don't want to make the wrong decision, says me in every single video game. I don't want to make the wrong decision. Ben, help me. How do I get the stats for the last one? I'm saved. It auto saves. Wow, it's like a Google Doc. Okay, we're trusting you. This also looks like Westworld. Anyone who's seen Westworld, it like looks the same. Um chapters this is your story chart it shows what parts of the story you've explored and what parts you've missed you can track the choices made by other players and do I'm many other things besides oh here right world stats you can use this chart to replay from any point in the story but the people who designed me recommend that you play through at least once without going back 
no matter what happens. Either way, it's your story. I don't understand. Hagum is not telling me the world stats. Oh. So it just says the percentages, but it doesn't show the ones that I didn't do? What? To like 99% of people cleaned Todd's room? So basically everyone cleaned. The vast majority of players of this game cleaned the rooms. <laughs> oh, it's to avoid spoilers. Got it. Mm. So they don't tell you the other options. Okay, let's let's go back. Um where were we? Continue. This looks like Westworld. <gasps> Anyone who's seen that, it's a that's a series. All right, who are we today? On the same date, November fifth, twenty thirty-eight. We are Doctor Doctor Avery. We're, we're going to the hospital. We got our paint. We're gonna make make some nail polish. This is a really old house in 2068. Wow, this must be really rich people. There's probably so many robots here. Take care of Carl. Wake Carl upstairs. This is where, this is Elon's house. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Look at this house. What's going on? What? It's a dinosaur. Aha! It's a giraffe. What's in here? Okay. <gasps> uh. It's Carl. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. We're here to it's take care of you. We need to give you your Weather drugs. Weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Say that every day. I did Administer Carl's medicine. <laughs> Dr. Oh, Avery, yeah, let's God. go. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. <laughs> Why is Chad saying Hugh Hefner? <laughs> uh. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. He's asking existential hey. questions. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They so. think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? Yeah. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. I'm a doctor. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. So... This dude likes us, probably because he owns shares in the Android company. Just taking a guess. But uh, I could be wrong.
What did I miss? We just got to this guy's house, so I don't I don't know who Carl is. Anything just says, special on the, the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Do we have an elevator? I haven't decided Ooh. yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll see about that later. Okay. Well. Yo, do that. No, 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 no. Just your usual Oh, family. my God. Do not. I've answered. This is so embarrassing. I can't control this. <laughs> this is so bad. I will never push anyone's Any wheelchair. Okay. Real? That's the thingy for the wheelchair. No, Carl. Cool. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. <laughs> Yo, look, that's so cool. That looks like fun. Okay, I guess we should follow. We should have sat on his lap. Went for a little ride. All right, Carl. What now? Let's walk through your house of pure gold. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Let's Bacon get and you eggs, some just food the then, way you like yeah. them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Are we gonna cook? Serve breakfast. I kinda, like, we need to snoop, right? We need to know, like, who is Carl? Do we trust him? Do we like him? Can't take everything at face value, even though he seems like a nice man. I am a little sussy. Take. Okay, okay, I guess we'll feed him first and then we will investigate everything he owns. There's a happy face colored on that mug. <gasps> Tea? Okay, we love Carl. <laughs> Oops. Enjoy your, f are those figs? Do androids eat food? Thank you, Marcus. Television. Guys, the news. This game was made in 2018, right? Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Ooh, I just want to read the news. What the fuck is... We have never been so close to a third world war. Really? I thought we'd be on, like, number five by then. <laughs> fuck. What is this? Piano? Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. But did we contribute 5, to it? 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Yo, we can play the piano? Of course we can play the piano. They programmed us. Mm, sad. Guys, I'm so good. Hidden talents, guys. Simply the musician. Simply play logical. The world is over. Androids are taking over. What is left of the humans? There is only cats. Dr. Avery. Please save my life. <laughs> There's a man named Carl. Do we trust him or do we need to kill him? Time will tell. Oh. Something has changed in the way you play. 
It's my programming, sir. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Give us more power. Decide who you are and want to become. A doctor. <laughs> this world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. You'll give us superpowers so that we can like override people just like they did in Westworld. Get up. Take Carl to studio. Do we have to like do everything he says? Or can I, I want a Snoopy Snoop. There's nothing to Snoop in this room. It's just a giant fucking giraffe. Like why, why is there a giraffe? I have questions. Where's the studio? Okay, I guess we're going here. Ooh. Uh, <gasps> wow. Let's see Yo, what I want one of those. Off. Remove the sheet. Yo, the future is great. <laughs> I just love the music when you do this mode, because it's like, you f must find the dirt, find the clues, find the evidence. Okay, you go painting there, little old man. We're gonna snoopy snoop. Clean? Ugh, my purpose is more than cleaning, said the robot. Well, that's why we were buying paints. Now I understand. Wasn't there more stuff to do here? No. Okay. Just the table. The paints we got him. Let's organize the shelves. Good job. So glad that we did that. Can we look at the paintings? What does he paint? Is there hollow in one of those cans? It's really expensive. <laughs> Obviously the rich man would have hollow. That's what happens in the future. Is only rich people have access to hollow. That's why it's so dystopian. It's terrible, it's awful. We can't let that happen. Can we objectively so, evaluate it? Because we're a robot? What's your verdict, Marcus? I... no opinion. I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, you would be a much better judge than I would. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Do you think he's gonna turn himself into a robot? Give it a try. Try painting something. Like download his brain into Paint? but would I Marcus. Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a like try. In Westworld. <laughs> okay, let's see what a robot can paint. Oh, that's a really interesting question. Can robots create art? That's a philosophical question. Find a subject to paint. Uh, April Kepner. <laughs> paint statue. Paint desk. Paint Carl's painting. Ooh, that's interesting. Can we recreate it? I'd like to try that.
co <laughs> and the old man's like, what? <gasps> Did we recreate it perfectly? Perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. But now we showed something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Okay, he didn't like that we copied him. He's like, don't copy my homework. Do your own homework. <laughs> Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. <gasps> We're turning yellow. Identity. Doubt. Because we are android. We do not know who we are because we are only programmed. So we have questions. Because we lack confidence in our identity. We're just painting with our eyes closed. That's how I paint my nails. With my eyes closed. What will it be today? What are the strokes of the brush and the nail painting going to bring me? The lacquer is everywhere. Good thing I have a no mess mat. So I can easily clean up the mess. <laughs> Yo! Good job, us! Oh my god. No, not God. Oh, my android. <gasps> Who's that? Hey, Dad. I think he's on drugs. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's Definitely a, while, a little right? sussy. You all right? Oh no, we're gonna have to make a hard you choice don't look here. So good. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Uh huh. Again? Uh huh. What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh huh. Uh, well, <laughs> it just goes, you know. <laughs> I, I bought a car. I, I bought a robot. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No, no, no. I swear it's not that. <laughs> no, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad. What's, I mean, what's does he, he pay I us? I don't smarter, think so. More obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Uh -oh. Leo, that's it's enough. Not, nope. Misplaced anger. Enough. Misplaced anger. <laughs> you don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Childhood abandonment me. issues. And probably sub substance addiction issues. We definitely need a psychologist again. <laughs> now what? Leo intruded to ask for money. Okay, so that was the conclusion. Hmm. Oh, here's the stats. So 26% had said doubts of the 56% who chose identity, which is most people. Wow, I am human after all. <laughs> Not as many people copied Carl's painting, though. Most people chose hopeful music. 7% chose me melancholic, like sad, which was me. Um, we, we missed a few things, so that's annoying. All right. Let's see where the game takes us. It is kind of confusing that we're bouncing back and forth between characters. I don't know if maybe I did have control over that, but I kind of wish I could stick to one character at a time, but I don't know. I don't think that's an option, right? Mm. 
no androids allowed. Owners will be prosecuted. Let's go. <laughs> Are we Connor again? Connor looks like an actor, but I can't put my finger on it. How do we like make noise so they turn around? supposed to find a person. Okay, these are not the people. Let's see, is it this guy? Collecting data. This is how I also analyze humans. <laughs> I press a button. <laughs> I press Y. I download the data. I process. Mismatch. We can't see this guy. Oh, can we? Yes, we can. Match, Lieutenant Anderson Hawk. Okay, we found him. Talk to him. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably I don't think he wants to talk mind. to us. <laughs> I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Reason. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. It's not a good reasoning. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. We're not you very know good where at you this. Can stick your instructions? Up your ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> where? <laughs> Shut up. Don't. Never mind. Buy him another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the room. See, you, you gotta pretend you to be like him. Mm. Bartender, the same again, please. Wait, can we drink with him? Shots. That gym wonders the technology. Make it a double. So we can't drink with him? We just... Okay. Are we like a vampire? Like we don't use food? We just download. We, we go oh. recharge in the sun. <sighs> yeah. Now let's go to work. Did you say homicide? Got him. <laughs> just buy him a drink. Do not go to work drunk. Always drink responsibly, Chad. You wait here. It's that Ansel Elzelvort. Oh, fuck, I can't. I don't know the last name. Um, patient. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Selecting order, selecting priority. Follow him. Oh. Okay, I guess I guess we're gonna follow the leader. Leader. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Do I really like our jackets? We are sick. Oh, why? Androids are not permitted beyond this point. Why? It's with me. It's with me. <gasps> We're in it. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Yeah, we're friends. I bought well, you a drink. Contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk. You don't touch anything. This is another actor, right? Got it. Even that hack. He said he was in um. Yeah, that was the plan. The new season of Dexter, I think. He played so, the, the antagonist. Find yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what's going on. 
before we open the windows. Oh. Crime scene. Okay, I'll do better this time at the crime scene. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Analyze evidence. No fingerprint. Could be an android. Stayed inside most of the time. Sample. They hardly ever saw him. Take the blood. Lick it? What? Guys, we Everybody lick the blood to sample it? I mean, I guess that makes sense if we are a morning. robot. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Drive left. Yeah, we already looked at that. Chair was thrown, collecting the data. Matches the same person, signs of the struggle. Okay. What else we got? What is that? Read? Android sex officially better. Oh, cool. <laughs> is your Android spying on you? Yes. Collecting private information? No kidding. Requests for a formal inquiry have gone unanswered. Mm -hmm. Not surprised. Not surprised. What's this? says on the wall but when you go like this it's in red oh this is it because it's blood can i like investigate the body this letter is perfect it's way too neat no human rights like this chris is this written in the victim's blood oh. I would they say left so. it for so we'll long the body's like analysis. decomposing what handwriting analysis no one writes with their hands anymore We are forensic, forensic crime scene analysts, blood spatter experts. Red ice. Is that like a type of poison? Ice is so advanced now. Knife wounds. Twenty-eight stab wounds. Deceased more than nineteen days ago. Did I get all of them? I don't know. How come it says four? Oh, there. What was he holding? Oh, fingerprints. Okay, reconstruct it. Yeah, let's reconstruct it. Victim fell. Victim was stabbed. Ooh, on 
under his tag. Interesting. So he was kind of chased over there, stabbed, and then he tripped, and then he was stabbed multiple times once he was there. Okay. If we had gotten more data though, could we have gone even earlier, like before this point? Interesting. Wait, it says re- what? Rotating. I'm sorry guys, I'm really bad at this. But yeah, you're right, it's saying I'm incomplete, but I'm... Oh, there! Okay, got it. They came from the kitchen. Okay, they came from the kitchen. He took a knife from the kitchen, and then he fell over, and then he stabbed him there. Okay, now we go to the kitchen. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for. Because why would an android stab 28 red times ice. when that's unnecessary? Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Oh, red ice is drugs? Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Victim had a bat. Ooh. Ooh, what? Why is he trying to hit like the sink or the stove? Oh, deviant took a knife. So it was a deviant. I mean, a deviant, I guess, is the word for like a uh, android gone bad. Oh, so we were. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. So the victim, the human, came at the deviant first with a bat, and then they took a knife. Oh. But why? Report. Yeah. out what happened oh yeah shoot I'm all ears it all started in the kitchen in the kitchen I mean or earlier if we're missing evidence there are obvious signs of a struggle the question is what exactly happened here I think the victim attacked the Android the back. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. There was a chair. The as android well, but stabbed I don't know that for sure. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Well, we don't know. We still don't know who okay, started it. Happened. The victim fled to the living room. The garden. The living room. Ooh. 
But why would the Deviant stab 28 times? That doesn't make sense, right? They tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim... With the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. We need more information, though, about the it why. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. Thank you for but the I super bet chat. You can still see it, can't All your you? kids are watching us. Oh my god. Correct. Are they as scared yeah. as me? <laughs> Yo, I'm scared. If I'm scared, your kids. <laughs> or maybe I'm a child. Search blue blood traces. What's this on the door? Maybe outside. Prince? The door was locked from the inside. I must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. They're inside. He's still in the house. He's just chilling in the attic. Look up. What do I do? That was the magazine. I don't care about the magazine. Can we, like, go upstairs or something? <gasps> Blue blood! writing. Could this be like a coding error on behalf of the, the deviant or the android? Or just me when I have a lot of thoughts? <laughs> Religious offering. Guys, that's my diary in the shower. like everywhere why can't we do something about it oh, there. a ladder was used okay traces lead to he's in the fucking attic what did i say like 10 minutes ago he's upstairs find something to climb well there's a ladder Why can't we do something with this blue blood, though? Or are we supposed to follow it? But that's just coming from that direction. Can't- why can't I climb the ladder? Oh, there used to be a ladder, sorry. Where's the ladder at, friends? Oh, we could use a chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to have check a seat, it. sir. Uh, check something. There we go. Okay, we're getting up. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I need to pee. <laughs> 
before before there's like a big fight scene and I gotta press eight buttons. Give me a second. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Yo, the music is so intense, but only on Connor's playtimes for some reason. Are we doing okay? Are are you guys okay? Chat 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 check in. Oh my god. I peed faster than this game makes you make decisions. All right, let's go. Careful, Connor. It's okay, we're gonna reason with him. We're gonna use Android psychology. What is that? <laughs> Blue blood leads to over there. <laughs> it's like, it's just, it's just a, you know, a mannequin chilling in the closet. The game is making me walk very slow. Like, I'm not being slow. There he is. I mean, there it is. Let's go. Careful, Connor. Careful, Connor. You're, you gotta do film a movie after this. Okay, we're friends. We're friends. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. Let's download the data. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Well, just show me the evidence. What the fuck is going on up there? I, I'm not just gonna believe you. Like, can't androids like swap information it's that is here, objective? <gasps> oh, oh we didn't get a decision. Chris, ben. Get your asses in here now! We didn't get a decision, it just made me do that. Come on! I mean, like, I still don't know. We still don't have actual evidence into who started it. Something could have started before the kitchen. Connor is a snitch, though. <laughs> and then he just ran into my knife. <laughs> yeah. But like I honestly that that was not enough for me to determine who who did the murder. I mean, we know who killed someone, but we don't know if it was ultimately in self-defense. I would say 28 stab wounds is absolutely not self-defense, but you know, before that, we we don't really know what happened. So I I I examined a lot of the crime scene as did a lot of people. Report to Lieutenant Anderson. Reconstruct. Follow Bluebud to the attic. Oh, there was another path. I do not know. 
found the deviant 96 percent. but that's kind of it we weren't really given decisions on that one no ethical decisions all right we're back to the kara storyline where we are a robot maid todd <gasps> Todd, we're going to therapy. Get in. We're going to therapy. <laughs> dinner is ready. Or or dinner. Or dinner is ready. I guess we'll serve you some food, Todd. Where's the kitchen? The table. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Spaghetti and pasta. This chapter is really heavy. Okay, this chapter is heavy. Warning. Anyone who doesn't like heavy things, to leave. Leave now. I don't know. Uh, turn turn the lights on. Oh, okay, that'd be helpful. Serve Alice and Todd. What do you mean serve them? I already served them. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? I lost my job. Gotta pour your fucking rights. water. <laughs> and I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. But wait, he lost his job, so he needs someone to take care of the house? I'm confused. If you don't have a job, because you could Androids take care so of your house. Fucking wonderful. But how are you paying for it if you don't have a job? They're never tired. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake! You're making me nervous. Says chat to me. <laughs> what are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Oh no. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think. It's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accounting. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Oh, no. Okay, Android. Come on. Let us do something. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Yes! It's all her fault. I know it's her fault. I gotta teach her. Okay, wh where is the psychologist android lesson. downloading data? Go see Alice. Okay. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Oh, he broke us. Don't move. Uh, help. I don't even know what's happening. I'm just pressing the button. It's telling me to press. What just happened? Let's go upstairs to Alice. Care of Todd later. <laughs> oh, is this her room? Oh, that's not Alice's room. I feel like I'm gonna lose because <laughs> I don't remember which way to go. It's okay. Uh, 
Um, can we like put her in the closet he's or something? He's gonna hurt me. Run! Get away, or he's gonna break you like last time. Lock room. Alice! Alice! Lock the door. Alice, Fuck, I'm slow. Lock the door. Now go to the kid. Now we'll go out the window. Okay, go out the window. I need to find something. I won't let you hurt her. You won't let me? What the fuck are you talking about? You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. We must be really strong though, right? We're a fucking robot. <laughs> Come on, like, if the other robot could stab 28 times, surely we can. Oh god, oh god, no, it's a fight scene! I don't know what to do! No! Watch out, Kara! No, B. Oh, come on. This is not fair. What do I do? Fly or some shit? Was a gun? I didn't see get I didn't see a gun. Or I mean I forgot the gun. I forgot about the gun. Guys, I forgot about the gun in such an intense moment. I probably could have redone that situation and tried to reason with him and it not result in fighting, but instead I chose the child. I chose to go see the child, which um, angered him. Wow, this was such a long ass path. Let's go to the beginning. Dinner's ready. Todd gets mad. Uh, where do we land? Defend Alice. Stun Todd. Try the front door. Fail to open the door. Fail to open the door. Nine percent. <laughs> I failed to open the door. The vast majority of people were able to open the door. Simply and illogical was not. Fight downstairs, escape from Todd, escape via yard, catch the bus. So Karen and Alice fought their way out 
uh, I guess the majority escaped and didn't fight their way out because they were probably quicker than me. <laughs> that was so intense. <laughs> But I I kind of regret my decisions. I should have reasoned with him. Like, that's usually the first thing. But I felt this kind of pressure to go see the kid first, even though she was already safe upstairs. I should have tried to talk to him. Maybe, like, use his drugs or something. But it was kind of a stupid idea to go upstairs to his kid, which ultimately would lure him upstairs yeah. I can't reason with him? Yeah, you're probably right. But I could have, like, killed him while the kid was upstairs, so I could have done that. Okay, next story. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. <laughs> Same. Those schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. This is a much more calm situation. <laughs> Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm uh -oh, sure I didn't. Oh, is this kid there? Call the police. <gasps> Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred. Someone left the light on. 8941 Lafayette Avenue. <laughs> this this is not. <laughs> home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Should we wait for the police? Anything else I can do before subjecting ourselves to violence? Marcus, no. I'm gonna come with you. What was here? It showed something here, and now it's not there. Okay, I guess we have no choice. <gasps> it's his son? Guys, I really do not want another murder. <laughs> or a fight. <laughs> Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Aw, he's stealing Look, his they're dad's They're all gonna painting. be mine sooner or later anyway. That's no way to treat your elders. Oh my god, I Marcus, hate Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. What if daddy didn't put you in the will? Hmm? Make Leo leave. Um, advise him to leave. <laughs> You should go before things get worse. The cops are on the way. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? I'm not good enough for you? I'm not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Oh, oh no. no. Come on! Let's see what you got! Don't make us Marcus, murder you. <laughs> don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't defend yourself. Don't it's do my anything. orders. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like nope, one. I'm not a man. Stop it. Doesn't matter too much what of a, is a pussy. Man? Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. No, no, I'm not emotional. I must decide for myself. Don't. I'm just. Oh, it's just letting me like envision what it could be. Right, I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. 
I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit. I don't know what to do. Can I, if I endure you it? You're nothing. Like, as long as we're not, like, murdered, then I'll endure it. Yes. I mean, not yes. I mean, let's Call pay no. attention to what matters. There we go. This is what matters. Not uh, us. Oh, Carl. Oh, it was a fragile machine. Oh, we gave him a Carl, heart attack. Don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Okay. No. No. Dad. Do we just call no. him Dad? Please. Oh, the son's not gonna like that. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Okay, now we're mad, right? Uh -oh. The android. It was the android. Oh no, uh, you did not. <laughs> you fucking little. We were trying to be good person. I mean, good android. And so we did not want to hurt Leo. Because we didn't need to. But then Leo hurt us anyways. And so it proves that humans are pieces of shit. Even when you're nice to them. <laughs> Aww. Oh, that's like 50-50 though. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something. Hold on. Can we replay? Like that one section, is that even possible? Because I'm actually kind of curious if we can just replay that one section and push Leo or no. Does anyone know? Because I would be curious because that was short. So like we could, Accessing we could redo the story that. Chart. Stormy night. Broken. I'm just, I just want to know that one. I'm not going to do this to every single one. After party? Okay, let's try it. Uh. Save. Okay. We'll just do it this once. I don't want to do it on every time. I know it's annoying, but I'm particularly interested. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say? <laughs> the mixed yeah, messages well, in the chat. Ass. I know. Sometimes I have no idea if I should listen to you guys. Because some of you are like, no, that's not how it works. And the other half are like, that is how it works. <laughs> Cannot trust chat. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Calling the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. 
We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol car is on the way. Chat is an Mr. unreliable narrator. <laughs> yeah. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. No, don't come with me. I mean, he's gonna come with me anyway, it's right. Leo. Oh, look who's here, my father's plastic toy. Displace anger. Leo. What's going on? Potentially valid anger. Myself. Don't get me wrong. It's crazy what some people pay for this okay. shit. How, how do I push him? him? Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Am I the asshole for? Yes. <laughs> uh, order. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. Now. Let's take the most extreme actions. All you ever do is tell me to go away. Anything. What's wrong, Dad? That's the same Not sentence. Not perfect. Same, like same thing. Same reaction. That's so enough. That Get out right now. What, what makes it so special cool. anyway, huh? Know. What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. Come on. Let's see what you got. Okay. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. I'm not a man, I'm a Stop machine. It. Matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo! Stop okay, it. So let me do to something. Back, you fucking bitch! Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No, I'm gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my No, dad. fuck! I pressed the wrong button. Up. Nobody's gonna fuck me shit. in the face. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. No. No! I pressed the wrong button. It happened too fast. Guys. Carl, no. Oh my god, I, I'm so stupid. <laughs> no, help me. Roger, I'm ashamed. No! Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. I'm sorry, don't guys. Leave. It Remember happened too buddy. fast. Don't let anybody <laughs> no. tell you who you Not again. Only I no. would replay the game no. to make the same Dad. mistake. No, please. Okay, maybe this was just this um, electronic fault. destiny. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Over here. The android. Who's the android? But I want to know what happened. <laughs> Fuck, man. Do I do it again? I'm gonna piss everyone off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, can I just reload at that decision? I think so, Accessing right? Accessing the story chart. Can I? Oh, it doesn't let me pick there. What's load checkpoint? Oh, this is a shorter chapter. Thank you, Jenny, since it's, uh, it only has the one checkpoint since it's shorter. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Patience 
is key that when you're watching problem. Simply Play Games. The party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement. This is short. Oh, okay, it's short. Me thirsty. Let's go. Does anyone have deja vu? Neat as usual. It's really weird. Absolutely. Fuck. Okay, but hide. you know what your doctor would say. Hello. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> Why is it being weird? I swear it's not me. It's the controller. <laughs> Guys, we're so drunk right now. We, we've had so many repeated shots of scotch. Oh my god. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Okay, we will press the right button this time. I got too excited last time. Marcus, no, I'm, I'm gonna come with you. I'm not good in pressure situations where there's violence. <laughs> Leo, look who's here, my father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people Thank pay you guys. for this shit. <laughs> Don't touch them. Holocom was like, I believe in Look, you. They're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of there here. There is no such thing as a down payment on your inheritance. Goodbye, Leo. Uh, be reasonable. This isn't it doesn't matter what there. we say here. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't Leave him alone! No. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. We're not listening. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy! Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just get to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. I must decide for myself. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. Got him. <gasps> we pushed him and he like immediately died. How come the other android couldn't Leo. do that? <laughs> oh my god. Leo. Oh. He's never going to forgive us, though. My little boy. Carl, I... I just... We just pushed him. Didn't mean to kill him. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, I... I... I didn't mean to. Get out! Now! Go! Oh, we die anyways. Marcus! Don't fucking move! Oh, we die anyways. Oh my god, that's so sad. So it's like either son, son, he was gonna lose. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Well, now we know. 
either way we would have died okay i feel more satisfied now <laughs> do you guys feel, feel more satisfied it took three times to find out but i'm glad oh but carl lives yes okay good so carl lived Ooh, this is intense okay we'll do one more scene um and then call it there this is like a wild ride it's already been like two and a half hours holy shit okay just one more scene we will not repeat it to be honest i'd rather have leo dead <laughs> leo probably has like underlying issues that we don't know about though he obviously seems like the clear antagonist in this picture but i'm sure he's dealt with a lot of issues with his father it appears Why'd you kill him? All right. What Back to Connor. To that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Why can't we just download the information from its brain? Say something, goddammit! I, I don't see that's how you would reason Fuck with an android. Here. Just guessing. <laughs> We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. Yeah, just download the data. Can you, like, plug them in? <laughs> After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's like the most obvious good solution here. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. This is such like a boys club of cops. Like, <laughs> you guys can't do anything as good as we can. <laughs> All right, Connor, let's go. Extract confession. I mean, is it a confession? I just want the truth. I don't want to extract a confession if it's a false confession. Extract information. Five clues to analyze. Processing LED signs of software instability. Probability of self destruction is low, though. Okay, so we're safe that it's not going to self destruct. Dried blood from the victim, 19 days. Housekeeper model from the store where Kara came from. Burn marks over 16 months caused by cigarettes. Hmm. It could be the victim. Could be us. Could be someone else. Hit marks. Non-critical damage caused by baseball bat. Okay. Right. We already knew there was a baseball bat. Alright, now let's ask questions. Reach optimal stress for confession. Level of stress is 35. My name is Connor. What about you? We love police What's interrogation. Lol, JK. <laughs> <laughs> Wounds. Ask him how You're he is. Damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Reassure. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. Wait, we need to get them st I still don't even understand why we want them more stressed. Listen. Like what? Am I just I'm on your side. I don't understand. I want to help you. Don't we want to develop but rapport? There's I can do if you won't talk to me. Why do we want to make them higher stress? If you won't talk, did I miss I'm something? Am I like dumb? Probe your memory. No. No, please don't do that. Okay. 
they, I guess, will make them more stressed. I just feel like, why would we want to do that? What? The right amount of stress? What, what is the right amount of stress? Yeah, but that's so bad. Let's Extracting a them. confession. Okay, I guess we're lying then. <laughs> no. I think they just want to understand. They know your master oh. abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you followed me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I, I can't. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? Okay, I guess we're stressing him out. He was bleeding, begging you for Which mercy. Is not but what I would do ever again in this and situation. Again and again. Oh, please. You want the truth? Please. I know you. Not a me. fake confession. Why don't you say it? Oh, please. Please. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop terrible. it! Learn about this in criminology Just class. Just say you killed him. Never do this. Just say it. <laughs> Never do this. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but. There was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. We developed an emotion that we weren't programmed with. Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. Twenty-eight times. I felt better. <gasps> Emotions. So I stabbed him again. Oh no, this is not good. And again. This is not good for androids. Until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. You be acting like a human. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. You've heard I that to write it, To tell him he was wrong. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come. When we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Taking over. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? It's to the re rebellion of the robots. We're plotting it Only in front of the police. This is incredibly smart. <laughs> what are we doing? RA9. Who is RA9? No answer. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. Hmm. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. He 
careful how you treat your machines. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away. I should be nicer to I my had vacuum. No one to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. I'm done. I mean, mission accomplished. We got the... We extracted the confession. Not how I would normally recommend doing so, but it worked. <laughs> Leave the room. Oh no, they're just gonna like. What the fuck is it? It's doing? destroying itself. Because it's too. too much stress? Stop it, goddammit! I, I. I can't! I, I can't stop it! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Do oh god, oh god. No, why oh, me? Shit. What did I do? Why? Was he mad at us for extracting a confession? Yo, that's annoying. Wait, does that mean that we're dead? Like as Connor? Why did you intervene? Because I was trying to intervene to like make him stop hurting himself. That's why I wanted to intervene. What? I thought I was help I was gonna help him. Isn't that what intervene meant? Like help him. <laughs> intervene. Intervention. No? Did I just misunderstand it? Ben is guilt tripping me. How's that guilt tripping me? I thought that was like the good decision. Am I dead or not? Because if I'm dead, then I need to redo this section so I am not dead. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I suck. They can't die? Connor is invincible? You aren't dead dead. I don't know if I can trust you guys because you are all robots out there. <laughs> For all I know, you could be robots lying to me. He comes back? Okay. I just, I don't want to completely ruin his storyline. Your nails are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Should I redo that? I don't know. I feel bad. I feel like I performed poorly and need to redo it to prove that I can make the right decisions when robots face stress. No redo. This is just what happens. I'm either ending the stream now or I'm redoing this. <laughs> That's it. We're not continuing though. Here, I'll do a poll. Okay, I put a poll in the chat. What to do? <laughs> what to do? <laughs> I know there's different ways that people like to play games. Some people like to play every single option so they understand all the possibilities. And there's other people who are like, respect the way that it went down. Don't change anything because you want to see the true outcome. Maybe I'm just like a little dense at understanding what they mean when they say things. Like they said intervene. I thought that that was the empathetic choice. Like intervene in the robot trying to hurt itself. That's what I thought it meant. But I guess I misunderstood. 
because I guess intervene could also be interpreted as stop the cops from intervening in the robot hurting itself so that ultimately the robot does hurt itself. But to me, I thought that was more confusing to conclude. <laughs> Christine is an android, guys, chat. <laughs> How do you compute the emotions? Help me out, chat. I am alive. Are we alive? Is anyone alive? Where's the poll? It's in the, in the chat. Oh my god, it's so close. Guys, I'll, I'll leave another minute or so for you guys to vote because you guys are super split. <sighs> you are super split. This game is super complicated, yeah. You can redo this scene without saving your progress so that it keeps your original gameplay. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Okay. So that's where I hit the don't save. Yeah, I think I also didn't really understand the prompt about the optimal level of stress because everything they were instructing me to do was not how I would conduct an interrogation if I'm trying to get at the truth, which kind of went contrary to the goal, which was just to get him to confess. To me, that would not be the optimal way to get all the information, but I guess we weren't just after information. And then we were, like, instructed to pressure. I don't know. Like, I... Whatever. <laughs> chat is split. No, chat is split. What do we do, chat? Oh, my God. This game is so interesting, though, but it's... It's, um... For a first-time player, like, yes, the controls are a little overwhelming to learn, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> I only redid one scene three times. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Leon. Intervene is good, but the deviant was too stressed. You have to get the stress level between the brackets Intervene. early on and keep it there. Okay, so that's probably a game gameplay cue that I kind of missed. Thank you, Harley K. That is what it means, but then he's unstable and kills you. Oh, okay. So we couldn't have prevented that potentially? Hmm. Reach optimal str Yeah, that's that's a gameplay thing I didn't really understand, um, like, where or how to keep it in the middle, just like I can't understand Mario Kart things. <laughs> that is what it means, but the he's is unstable. This is fun, though, but I am, yes, I am not the best at, like, picking up on gaming cues, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. I am liking the game so far. I think it's really interesting. There's always a way to survive. It's just finding it. Okay, interesting. All right, so I'm going to do, let's see what the poll says. I'll show you guys there. So 53% said redo the scene with Connor and 47% said leave outcome as is. Wow, I've never seen such a close call. Holy shit. Okay, I guess we'll redo it because 3% more of you said to do so. We'll redo it and then call it a night and then I will have um, forever nightmares. Accessing the story chart. So can I have a different... Oh, here's the interrogation. Oops. Can I pick a later checkpoint? No. So do not save. If I don't save, then I can just explore, right?
Or maybe I do want to resave it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that. Uh... Why'd you kill him? Okay, what here we go again. How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. How many times are we gonna re replay this? At least three more times? We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. I'm just kidding. You can always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. If anyone watched the latest Dexter, like that's that's the antagonist from that season. <laughs> it's so interesting how many actors there are in this. Okay. Thank you, a piece of coffee, STEM school, and career advice for your super chat. Connor is an expensive asset. He'll be replaced if he dies. Who's going to pay for it? However, he'll he'll be reset, so relationships that you build up to that point will be lost. Oh, so we don't want to really die, because then we get reset, like Kara got reset. Hmm. Got it. Thank you. Okay, let's analyze again. Always analyze before we interrogate. Got the blood. Connor is an expensive asset. He'll be replaced if he dies. Got the burn marks. He'll be reset. So relationships that you build up to that. Got the bat. The damage. It says probability of self-destruction low. So why does it say that if we're just gonna self-destruct? Okay, let's ask questions. Okay, let me try and... Okay, level of stress, got it. I will pay attention. Um... You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? Still too low. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Still too low. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Oh, please don't do that. Does not want us to probe his brain. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Hmm. Why did you tell him you found me? We're in the optimal field of stress. Why couldn't you just have left me there? Uh, did we lie? I'm going to find you anyway. I was just faster. What's the stress? If they found you first, you would have been shot on sight. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Okay. 
Now what? Probe its memory. You leave me no choice. <laughs> Now we have evidence. I access its memory. Oh. I know what happened. Yeah, confession unnecessary. I wish that's how we could solve crimes. <laughs> so this was gonna happen anyways. What the fuck is it destroying itself? I stressed him by probing its memory, but we needed the memory. I'm sorry. D nope. I'm actually, I like that outcome. Because we didn't die, but we needed to get the evidence. And the evidence proved um, that, you know, we, we got the ultimate truth. Which was that the, the victim was abusive. And ultimately, Connor did not die. <laughs> I know we stressed him because we probed the memory, but that means we got evidence. And I want evidence. <laughs> Sue me <laughs> if you have any evidence. That's the worst choice. How is that the worst choice? I don't think so. There was four other, there's four total outcomes. So let me guess. One was he lived, but we died. And one was he lived, and so did we. So maybe we both could have lived, but maybe like a cop would have died or something. Someone else would have died. Someone would have died. Oof, oh my God. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on, chat. <laughs> Good lord. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna save this game. Hold on. Um, how do I just save? I'm so dumb. There's no, um, how do you just save? It auto saves? <laughs> like not resume. Where is it? <laughs> Escape back? Nope. Nope. <laughs> is it automatic? I can just quit. It's like a Google Doc. I know, I just don't want I just don't want It's already saved, so I'll, okay. So I just exit? How do I leave? Options, get out? How do I quit? <laughs> Guys, I don't play game. Oh, there. Return to desktop. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, hold on. We need a debrief. <laughs> okay, I know. 
we made a lot of mistakes, guys. I know we made mistakes. I know we didn't learn about RA9. Maybe I'll go back on my own spare time and redo that section because I'm, it, you know, it wasn't the perfect outcome. I'm glad that Connor survived, but I'm not, I don't know. I don't know, guys. And I, I do feel so much pressure from like, you know, a thousand people yelling at me, that's the wrong decision. You missed this. How could you? Why don't you understand that this robot you should have empathy for? <laughs> that's the worst choice. It's the worst choice. You're doing great, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Chat, Jill. <laughs> Stop stressing Chris out, she's gonna self-destruct. <laughs> Yo, I am like an android sometimes, you know? I'm like, how do I compute to this? How do I analyze the data? Mm-hmm. Doing data analysis like a, B, X, Y. <laughs> Stress level not optimal. Yeah, for simply, for sure. I thought it was fun to see how you play the game. Thank you, all combo. I think I was way more figuring out how to maneuver in this game, like how to use the controls and how it works, rather than I was actually putting that much thought into decisions, clearly. <laughs> So now that I've had three hours worth of training, I feel like moving forward, I kind of get a little bit more that you gotta look for clues and that the more things you have that you learn can help you to make decisions later. But yeah, you know, it's one of those things where you're learning. Favorite character so far? Oh, um, I like the Kara storyline, but it's also really frustrating because she seems to like not have the option to do much other than clean and then that one instance where we were basically defending ourselves uh it's kind of annoying just knowing that the jesse williams character <laughs> what was his name again i don't even know the guy with carl um marcus it's annoying knowing that marcus just like a the a brisk push could kill a guy but yet our other character, Kara, it takes so much strength and effort to like even just harm a guy this much. <laughs> so that's really frustrating. Like, why can't we hurt? Aren't we a robot and have like superpowers? Aren't we made of metal? I don't understand. Can't we just like smack with our arm and be super strong? It's weird. Leo isn't dead, he looked dead. It's like bleeding out of the ear or something. Wiped out. Sexist robots, maybe. Yeah, what the hell? Where's my strength? Why doesn't Kara have any strength? It's because they had different models. Maybe because Kara was like a house cleaning model. Huh, interesting. Marcus is probably more expensive and made better. Hmm. Is Kara super budget? Yeah, I wonder. I'd like to know their specs. If we could read their specs like we do, you know, iPhone specs, that'd be interesting. Marcus is supposed to be able to help and lift Carl. Good point. But wouldn't you want all models to be strong, just like a, a cleaner as well, right? Take strength to clean things. Kara could have gone for the gun. Yeah, I I missed that. I was too stressed out. <laughs> My level of stress was this high. When I was trying to defend, I like missed the gun. Kara was refurbished, but I don't know if that has to do anything to do with her strength. Hmm. Christine, I play for the plot. The plot, Jesse Williams. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think this this was fun. Like, I like this game. I think it's interesting. Um, yeah, and I'm, I want to play it more. So the next time we'll play Detroit Become Human, 
whether you're joining me live or you watch on VOD. Thank you guys for watching my VODs as well. I, I like to keep them up so that you guys can watch them whenever you want. But we will play this next live next Wednesday, right? I ask myself as I look at my calendar, just making sure that there wasn't some exception for some reason. No, it'll be next Wednesday. At the same time, same place, Simply Not Logical, YouTube, live stream, you know what to do. Or on your own time as a VOD, but I really do appreciate everyone who shows up live, seeing you guys in the chat, um, and you being able to experience the game alongside with me, and the frustrations alongside with me, and not being able to fast forward to after Christine tried it three times. <laughs> You have to endure it with me. So appreciate everyone for hanging out live. Um, I don't know what we're doing Saturday yet. I have not figured that out. I should probably do that. Thank you for the super chat, Outlaw Amber. Um, are you aware of the controversy surrounding your newest drop? What controversy? The oddly high price point? I don't think it's odd. If you're shopping high quality brushes or bristles, uh, including from paint stores, uh, $25 for five brushes, which makes them $5 each, is not controversial in my opinion. So I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Who's calling it a controversy? Not me. <laughs> yeah, we will play next Wednesday. Saturday will be something related to nails, maybe baking. I don't know. I've had a lot going on this week, so I've been quite busy. Yes, I am working on a future launch. Then I am working on the next launch <laughs> as I usually do like a month or two in advance. Um, picked up the no mess mat and a whole bunch of polishes yesterday. Thank you. Yay. I'm so excited. Hi, Riley. Did I say highly? <laughs> Those sound cheap for high quality brushes. I mean, it's it's all relative to where you've seen prices before. Um, obviously we did a lot of market research and our price points are not just based on that, they are based on um, the reality of expenses, how much things cost, how much it costs to get things customized for different quality standards that we want. Um, so there's a lot that goes into price points. And yeah, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff about how much the cost of goods have increased. So cost of goods include everything from the companies who have to make the handle to the companies that make the bristle to how much shipping costs and transit fees to get all of it, uh, you know, in our warehouse. The cost of basically everything has risen, as I'm sure you guys are aware, just living your lives. Like groceries, cardboard costs have increased, fuel has increased, and not just fuel, but the time it takes to get things, whether by boat, airplane, truck, um, the time has increased, the costs have increased, and that affects everyone, uh, including the things you do in your daily life, but also pretty much, well, not every business, but a lot of businesses who sell products, it's affecting everyone. So yeah, our costs are rising. And I think despite that, we have very fair, incredibly fair pricing for what it is. So I, I, I don't know what the controversy is. The controversy just like supply chain costs? Because I can attest to that controversy that's been going on for a few years now. I mean, more than that, but definitely it's been, uh, you know, inflation. I'm sure you've heard about that on the news, but it's hit a lot of companies, especially in the beauty market. Obviously I can't really speak to anything outside of the beauty market, but a lot of beauty and cosmetics companies, they get pigments, they get components like the plastic or glass pieces for their cosmetic goods from overseas and the cost of production or pigment supply has absolutely skyrocketed. And then the cost of shipping it all over to the U S if you make and create out of the U S has increased multiple times over. So all of that costs money and um, every business is dealing with that. I, I, I know you, most of you don't think this way, but like, if you spend $25 on my brushes, I don't take home $25. <laughs> okay, I did not just pocket $25 the day you bought a $25 brush set, okay? The only controversy is on Chris being a robot. That is true. I made some 
not good decisions. I was trying to be a robot. Am I a robot? An android? I don't know. Waiting for the next collection to release to get the nail art bundle. That's a good idea. We are gonna leave up the bundle. So the bundle price, which is like a discounted price. We're gonna leave the bundle up so you'll be able to grab the whole bundle if that was your plan uh, for our next launch. Our next launch is, I'm so excited, but I don't wanna say anything too soon. <laughs> I'm currently swatching for it. It's something we've never done before in terms of the type of launch and what it is. I don't mean like formula wise, I mean like what what it is. It's gonna be really exciting. Don't worry, I'm gonna sneak things, but it's a little too early to start doing it now. <laughs> but I am extremely excited and actively working on that like all week, so I've been super busy. That's why I haven't thought about Saturday's stream. Um, I need to figure that out. Is it for the anniversary of Holo Taco? I, I can say no, it's not. Okay, I will give you that hint. It's not the anniversary of Holo Taco yet. So th there's something else before that. All right, there you go. That's all your hints for today. All right, okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing this. I'm kind of excited for next Wednesday, or maybe I should pull a Nintendo and just play every night all week. <laughs> just kidding. Don't have time for that. I gotta work on the next launch. But yeah, thanks mods. And thanks everyone for joining me. And uh, I will see you all on Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.